In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to translate a polygon on the coordinate plane. Another term for translating an object is to slide an object. When we translate or slide an object on the coordinate plane, we can move that object either left or right, which is a movement in the x direction, or up and down, which is a movement in the y direction. In this specific example, they want us to translate triangle ABC, positive 9 units in the x direction, and negative 4 units in the y direction. Simply put, we have to slide this triangle 9 units to the right and 4 units down. Now for many people, this is a rather easy task. If you have the coordinate plane in front of you, you can just place your pencil or finger on any individual point and jump 9 units to the right and 4 units down. But sometimes you may not have the benefit of a coordinate plane in front of you and all you are given are the ordered pairs of each of the three points. If that is the case, all we would have to do in that situation is to add 9 to all of the x values since we are moving our object 9 units in the x direction. And since we are moving our object minus 4 in the y direction, we simply subtract 4 from all of the original y values. After adding 9 to all of the original x values and subtracting 4 from all of the y values, we will get the new ordered pairs for a, b, and c after the object has been translated. After we have the new ordered pairs for a, b, and c, we can record those ordered pairs on our coordinate plane and actually check to see if it was translated in the correct position. We can simply put our pencil on any of the three points and see if we jump over 9 units to the right and 4 units down, if each point will be in the proper position. For example, if we put our pencil on B and move 9 to the right and 4 down, you can see that B is in the correct location. And if we do the same thing for C and A, we can see that that is true as well. Another way to translate triangle ABC on the coordinate plane is to simply put your pencil on any of the three points and then make 9 jumps in the X direction and 4 jumps downwards in the Y direction and then plot your new point. For example, if we put our pencil on point B, we can make 9 jumps to the right and 4 jumps down and then record the new location of point B. We can do the same thing for point C and point A. After that, we can connect our three vertices and see that we have a triangle which is congruent to the original. One thing that should be noted with any translation is that the new shape should be congruent to the original shape. If it is not congruent to the original, then one or more points must be plotted in the incorrect location. So when translating an object, you can simply take the movement in the x direction and add that value to all of the original x values, and take the movement in the y direction and add that value to all of the y values. Or you can translate your object by simply placing your pencil on each of the three points and moving in the exact directions that were given in the problem and then recording your new points and make sure that that object is congruent to the original. 